I even saw some people like she's a weed smoker like as if we're like ah We should leave her behind because she wanted to smoke some pot after a sports game Okay, I guess I should talk about Brittany Griner and my opinions about the Brittany Griner are being turned over So I don't know if you guys know but back basketball uh, basketball star Brittany Griner who was in a Russian prison for uh, having like some weed vape uh, oils on them uh, has finally been released in a prisoner swap. Brittany Griner was sentenced to a ridiculously long period of time in prison for this minor marijuana offense. A lot of people thought it was politically motivated, a way to get back at the United States. It caused a crisis as this person was shipped off to like a remote part of Russia. And Biden has finally negotiated her release. In fact, uh, here is footage of her on the plane talking about her being so happy to be, you know, out of Russia, about, about to go back home after I think what, like maybe about a year now of captivity. I'm good. What's your mood? Uh, happy. <laughs> well, yeah. are you ready for a um, flight? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Good. Do you know where I'm heading to? No. No? No. 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 You fly back home to, to the U.S. To the U.S. Okay. Yeah, okay. Everything will be fine. Okay. This feels like a prisoner interview. This feels like a prisoner interview. This feels really weird. It feels like there's like a person off camera with like a gun to her head. You know what it probably was? She's like, I don't want to say anything to mess this up. Because I just, anything but going back in that prison cell. That's what it feels like, man. That's what it feels like. Is she feels like super uncomfortable, but it's not that surprising that she would feel this way after all this time. But there's a lot of pushback, a lot of pushback on her being uh, released because the, she was released under the auspices that a arms dealer, arms dealer was released in her place. Now I don't know if you guys know about the arms dealer that was released, uh, but the arms dealer that was released. Um, is actually, I think we have a DW segment we could do, show on it quickly. Um, it was Victor Bout. I don't know how to ever know. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but I don't think watching this DW segment is necessary. I'll just tell you, like this guy is like smuggled weapons for some of the worst people in the world. And when I say some of the worst people in the world, I mean like I'm not just talking about like oh you know the Taliban and the like Northern Alliance, so like both sides. And he has not only smuggled weapons for them, but he's done stuff for us during our operations in the Middle East. He's also done uh, stuff in Colombia. That stuff in Colombia was ultimately got him arrested. He also smuggled weapons for fucking Charles Taylor. And for those of you who don't know who Charles Taylor is, Charles Taylor is a convicted war criminal. Uh, he was the former president of Liberia, and he like recruited a ton of child soldiers to fight his war. And he's been founded guilty on acts of terrorism, murder, violence to life, Rape, sexual slavery, uh, outrages upon personal dignity, violence to life, health and physical and mental well-being, other humane acts, conscripting or enlisting of children under the age of 15 years old, enslavement and pillaging. Also, he's been accused by his colleagues of encouraging cannibalism. So, to be clear, this guy is not good. He's also worked with us, by the way, when our infrastructure wasn't as strong in the Middle East and getting us supplies, but he's not a good guy. Ultimately, the reason why he was put in American prison was because of his actions in Colombia, smuggling weapons for organizations that had intentions to kill, like, you know, Americans, American soldiers and American people. This guy, I think, ended up getting, like, a 25-year sentence. I think he ended up serving, like, maybe seven years of it. So he didn't serve the majority of the sentence. He didn't serve the whole sentence, but he did serve a decent part of the sentence. Um, but a lot of people are upset because this guy was given up for basically like a basketball star. But I mean, this is how I look at it, right? This is my perspective. I think that this guy obviously is a bad, bad guy. Okay, he served 11 years. Thank you. This guy is a bad, bad guy, right? Obviously, this guy in a perfect world would stay in a prison cell. But, but, 
if the consequence of having this guy stay in a prison cell when generally we think he's probably no longer a threat anymore all of the wealth he has accumulated is gone all of his vast connections and networks over the last years are probably evaporated besides maybe a few he probably doesn't have a ton of weapons stored somewhere to ship around uh, you know, he's been in prison for who knows how long. He even knows if he's interested in going back into this type of a career uh, and weapon smuggling. If the, the consequence of keeping this guy in prison is that another person who's innocent and shouldn't be in prison, definitely for something as stupid as a marijuana offense like Brittany, who's going to be in prison for what, like seven years, a ridiculous period of time, obviously political charges. If the consequence of keeping this guy in prison and not exchanging him is she stays in prison I think the exchange should be made. And I think Biden had to make a tough choice where, which didn't have any 100% perfect options. And he made the choice that had the innocent person walk free. And, and personally, I think that was the correct choice as well. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it was the correct choice? I seen a lot of people like being like, I can't believe that we gave up a, a weapon smuggler for a weed smoker. And it's like, I don't know what you would ask Biden to do. What would you ask Biden to do instead? Keep the innocent person in prison? Not make the deal? Just let Brittany Griner rot in a, in a jail cell forever? forever? Actually, there is one proposal that people have made, and it's in reference to Paul Whelan. Uh, let me uh, read this Terrence K. Williams tweet. Joe Biden is a piece of crap and not a true commander in chief. He left his Marine behind like a coward. Brittany Griner hates America. I understand the Marine wasn't perfect, but he put his life on the line for this country. He should have been home first. Who's with me? Raise his hand. American flag. Okay. So. The first thing I'm going to say here is I don't care if Brittany Griner hates, loves, or what her opinion on America is. That's the first thing. The second thing here, he's referencing Paul Whelan. So Paul Whelan was somebody he was arrested during a trip to a wedding in Russia in Moscow in 2018 after basically a USB was basically placed on him, uh, planted on him uh, by somebody else after telling him it was like wedding photos. Uh, on those, uh, on that hard drive was some like classified information or like information that looked uh, suspicious. And he's now serving an extremely long prison sentence for a crime he didn't commit. He's been in prison since 2018. So he's been in prison during both the Trump and Biden administration. And Terrence is saying that Joe Biden's a piece of crap because he left him behind while getting Brittany Griner home. So the first thing I would say is I would want to make sure that Terrence K. Williams holds that same level of heat, that same lever of anger, not only for Biden, but also for Donald Trump, because Trump was in office for two years and was unable to achieve a deal. Biden's now been in office for two years and was unable to deal, uh, achieve a deal for Paul Whelan, but has so far been able to achieve a deal for Brittany Griner. So the Paul Whelan deal is going to be treated a lot differently from the Brittany Griner deal because Paul Whelan is accused of espionage, not smoking pot. And so the Russian government is going to probably treat that differently and ask for something else. Do I think this is fair that we gave up a actual a guy who smuggled weapons to to fucking the the worst people in the wall? I'm, I mean, we're talking Charles Taylor, right? And we didn't get Paul Whelan back. No, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair at all. But that but this this kind of assumes that the Russians are going to play fair. They're not. They're not going to play fair. I, I do think that Paul uh, Whelan should come home. Uh, I, I've seen some people say like, oh, Brittany Griner hates America. Why did we choose her? Well, Paul Whelan uh, tried to steal $10,000 while as a Marine. So if we're talking about like, oh, personal character flaws, and that, that's a reason why we should have picked this person instead of that person. Okay, what about the fact that Paul Whelan, again, tried to steal from the Marines? That's bad. 
that's pretty bad. You know, Brittany Griner made hate America, whatever that means. But at least she didn't try to steal $10,000 from the United States military in an effort to enrich herself. All she did was smoke pot. And I'm not saying that to say Paul Whelan should be in prison because Paul Whelan isn't in prison for trying to steal money from the Marines, trying to steal $10,000 to enrich himself. Paul Whelan is in prison for fake espionage charges. But let's not pretend that one person has more moral weight than the other here and uh, because one is Brittany Griner and the other is Paul Whelan. Uh, he even acknowledges in this tweet, I understand the Marine wasn't perfect. Yeah. He was far from perfect. Still doesn't mean he should be in prison and we should pursue his release. But he's going to be treated differently because it's espionage charges. Espionage is very different from smoking weed. The Russians are going to ask for more. I think we should pursue Paul Whelan's release. I do think we should pursue it. But let's not pretend that we're going to get like a two for one like deal here. This isn't like Papa John's. This is like hostage negotiation. True, maybe if I use conservative rhetoric, this is a good point. This is a good point, site chat. Maybe if I use conservative rhetoric. What about instead of us saying that he tried to steal money from the military, I say that actually he tried to steal money from American taxpayers. How about that, huh? Hey, hey, are we now, now are we starting to get it? Now are we starting to get it? Oh, is it's, it, I... The gears are turning now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, now they're starting to turn in a lot of heads. In a lot of heads, they're starting to turn now. Yeah, okay. My goodness. I even saw some people like, she's a weed smoker. Like, as if we're like, ah, we should leave her behind because she wanted to smoke some pot after a sports game. Big surprise, guys. Big surprise. My goodness. I think that Biden could have gotten more people for the terrorists than someone who was just arrested for weed. How? How? No, for real. When you say that, how? How do you get more with, a, with another party that's so unwilling to compromise? How? Like, for real, what's your strategy? Putting you on a spot, Geronis. You said that you think you could have gotten more. How would you have gotten more? Like, should he have gotten more? Yes. That doesn't mean he can get more. These are two separate things. A pragmatic argument, it was not going to happen to get him home over her or both of them because Russia would rather give her up than him. Statistics are more favorable to her. That is true. Like, I just don't know, like, what more... When people are like, oh, he could have gotten more. How? Like, you tell me how. Like, people love to fucking, like, armchair general this stuff. Like, oh, yeah, he could have gotten more. Like, how could he have gotten more? How do you know he could have gotten more? What could he have done to gotten more? Let me hear it. Not to mention, as I was trying to find, but it's not in the article, apparently, because I'm getting fucked in the ass here. Not to mention the fact that Paul Whelan's brother supports the deal. Like, his family supports the deal. Like, he's disappointed he's not going home. He doesn't angry that Brittany Griner's going home. He's hoping he can go home. Of course, his entire family hopes he can go home. But as far as I've read, neither Paul Whelan or his family is condemning Biden for choosing Brittany Griner to come home and, like, doing what he can to get her home while still doing what he can to get Paul Whelan home. But the thing is, you can't get them all at the same time if the other party is unwilling to budge. What would we ask Biden do differently? When I see you guys in chat saying he could have gotten more, how could he have gotten more? Don't just say he could have, say how. Like, I could just be like, oh yeah, you guys, you know, I, I, like, I, could, I could just say if anyone, like, you could do this, you could do that, without providing an explanation. What's going to stop Russia from now on going on to wrongly arrest Americans to swap prisoners again? This kind of fuels Russia? I mean, you could look at, look at it like that. But that would also mean that we would make the decision that Brittany Griner is going to serve seven years in Russian prison for smoking pot out of because of the fear that if we do a negotiated prisoner swap, that it will encourage them to arrest more Americans for dumb reasons. I understand the concern, but ultimately that's not like an option I'm willing to choose. Like I'm not willing to like allow either of these people to just stay in prison until all of their term is up just to make a point. Bro, the merchant of death for the WNBA player kind of sums it all up. Uh, you know what it sums up? 
it sums up that, you know what? You know what I think it sums up? It sums up that our people are cooler. Our people aren't fucking war criminals and monsters and evil people. There's our. That would be the American first, like, patriot Red Eagle take, okay? But, like, what else do, would you want him to do? What, what would you want Biden to get instead? Okay, get fuck Griner. She'll stay in prison. Fuck her. Fuck her. Uh, instead, uh, you gotta give us this. Like, what, what would you want him to do instead? What would you offer instead? Like, people can laugh at this all they want, but they're not offering alternatives. I think that if we couldn't get an equal trade, we probably shouldn't have done the deal. So your, your plan keeps Brittany Griner in prison for seven years. Got you. Okay, well, I don't think that's fair to her. Uh, even if to, Because the thing is, if it's like, well, that's not fair. We kind of got fucked by Russia. Well, okay. We can leave her to... Instead of us getting fucked by Russian negotiations, we let her get fucked by Russia for seven years on top of Paul Whelan. I don't think people want that. It was medically prescribed in America. It doesn't matter how she got it. Like, being arrested for weed uh, given seven years is ridiculous. Make the trade. Warn Americans to stay the fuck out of Russia. The measured Biden response. I think that is the best thing Biden can do. Honestly, I think that's the only option Biden can do. Outside of literally saying, fuck Brittany Griner. Screw uh, Paul Whelan. We're just not going to negotiate with Russia on prisoner swaps ever because they're not going to be fair and make a fair deal. Like, you can say that. But I don't think most Americans would like that. I think that would screw over Brittany Griner. That, of course, would screw over also Paul Whelan. And that would make it impossible for these people to come home anytime soon. I mean, I think we should have traded for an agent who's done more for the U.S. and is useful. Not Paul, but someone else. I don't know what exactly the prisoners they have. Well, okay, so you don't know who you should have traded for instead. Paul Whelan's not good enough for you, apparently. It should have been somebody else who's useful for America. What prisoners are useful then for America that we could have got? Like, if you don't even know the other prison... Why the fuck are you talking? Why? Well, if you don't know the other prisoners, or if there's anything else that's more valuable, but you're, like, making recommendations based off of something you don't know, like, why are you making the recommendation? <laughs> Whatever. Because I'm an American? Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, that's enough of this story.